Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Model Mama Show. I'm so excited to introduce to you guys our truly inspiring mama guest today, mama that is always known for bringing the fun. This is beautiful Pamela and Rocco, who has an amazing event planning company called Bashery & Co. And um, you do so much. I mean, you do DIY videos, you do styling for events, photo shoots, all that. What's your favorite part of your business? I think when I get to like incorporate the kids, yeah, you know, like when it's like a really fun photo shoot, I mean, they, they don't even know that it's a photo shoot. Like they just think it's a party and that's yeah. why I position it, you know, so they don't think like it's some kind of job or yeah. it's just, they just know that they're having fun. And mm -hmm. so that's why like a lot of the things that I do are, you know, kind of kid focused and family friendly. Yeah. And yes, most importantly, you are a mama of two beautiful yeah. blonde girls. Mm -hmm. You have yeah. a four year old Maria and two is Harper or Harlow, Harlow yeah. too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So fun. It's very fun. And so you, but you've been an event planner for 20 yeah. plus years and you've really pivoted in your career because you're originally from the East Coast, yes. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. and now you are loving LA and you're here to stay. Yeah, I've been here nine years. Yeah. And I don't think I'm going anywhere. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. seem like it. Mm -hmm. She's like the queen bee of LA. You know everybody in LA, I swear. <laughs> okay. And so, but let's, but really the Model Mama show is all about transitioning and your career through motherhood and sort of achieving balance. Yeah. So I know that you started your company, Bashery & Co. when you had just had Harlow yes. and so what made you want to start this new venture right after you had a new baby I know well I you know I had a company before I had Maria my oldest and I was traveling across the country um, every month mm -hmm. and so when I had my first daughter I was like you know I can't do this anymore it's too crazy and yeah. so I stopped everything and and then when I got pregnant with my second daughter, I just like that creative bug and it was just yeah. calling me like I had to do something else. Mm -hmm. um, and so I came up with Bashery, you know, and like what a better time to launch it than the week that I have a second baby, right? It was like, yeah. I feel like I gave, you know, birth to two, two babies <laughs> yeah, in one week. Totally. And no, it was really, I just needed some other, another type of outlet. Mm-hmm. And the ability to work from home. Yeah, and for sure. And I just needed something for me, you know, to feel. I felt um, like I was, like, losing a sense of, you know, who I was a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I loved being a mom, and it was, like, all I ever dreamed of was to be able to, like, be home, you know, with this mm -hmm. child. But then at the same time, I was struggling. You know, I was struggling to find, okay, um, like, who am I now? And so I think with starting Bashery & Co, it kind of, you know, gave me a balance because it was like I didn't have to go into an office, you know, yeah. every day. And I was able to pick and choose what parties I wanted to style or what photo shoots I wanted to do or, you know, what projects I wanted to work on. Um, so I think, and I'm very grateful for that because I know there are so many moms out there that don't, you know, get that choice. Um, right. And... I just think it was like the best, you know, option for me and it's, mm -hmm. it's worked. I mean, it's crazy at times, but that's okay. Yeah. You know? I know that was my next question is just like how you kind of juggle both because like being a business owner and having your own schedule and like being in charge of everything, you wear mm -hmm. so many hats, for like, sure. but you also have, you know, two beautiful girls and you want to spend as much time with them as possible. Yeah. Like, what's your strategy? Well, and do you have a husband? Yeah. That you have to spend, <laughs> That's you like know? a third child. <laughs> and you have friends. Yeah. You know, and you want to also have like a social life. And you want to do, have time to do stuff for you. And you want to work out. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. You want to, you know, because I don't feel, I don't, I only feel, I feel the best when I, when like everything's kind of like, you know, everything's moving like a machine. It's like, yeah. so what I do is like I take each day, right? Like I know I'm not gonna be um, the best at all five of those things every single day. So if we like look at like say motherhood, you know, um, being a wife, taking care of yourself, working, and then being a friend. Like there's uh -huh. like maybe like these five main Aspects. things. Yeah. And I think people get overwhelmed because they're like, oh, well, I'm going to have to give up two of these things 
because I'm never going to be able to, to handle it all. Mm -hmm. So I just look at each day and I'm like, okay, so, you know, one day I'm going to, you know, be doing craft projects with my kids and, you know, being a good wife um, and maybe getting a workout in, but then I won't be able to do anything for my company that day. And then I, and I won't talk to my friends. I won't return a text. You know, it's like, I just kind of take it and not get so overwhelmed by thinking of all those five things, and like what I'm yeah. not doing good, what I'm doing good or what I'm not doing good at. I just try to take it like each day by day because I think that I need all of those five things. Yeah. Um, but it's true though. I mean, that is really, really good advice. I'm literally like taking notes in my head for myself because I feel like that's so true to have those sort of like boundaries for yourself because like, I feel like I always want to do everything all at once right. and then you just, inevitably end up beating yourself it's up. It's a burnout. I mean, you're and not yeah, going to, and then you're just going to be, then what I find is you're not going to be doing any of those things good. Mm -hmm. um, but so it's you like just this, like set a set. So when yeah. you set your schedule for the week, you're like, okay, I know that Wednesday, for instance, right. is like sort of my mom day mm -hmm. with my girls and I'm going to And every just, week's different though. Yeah. You know, based on like what's going on. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, those days that I'm with the girls all day long because I don't have, you know, help every day or anything like that. Um, I just mm -hmm. kind of pull it in when I need it. So, yeah, yeah I'm like, if I'm with them all day, then I'm going to try to, you know, remove myself from whatever two things, you That's know. That's great advice. And That's some really days I have dinner, some days I don't, you know. Some <laughs> That's days awesome. that I even talk to my husband sometimes. I mean, it's just yeah. this whole. Yeah. You just set aside the time yeah. to do what matters most. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. I love that tip. And then what about, so because you're so crafty mm -hmm. and like seriously, you guys, she's, you are so creative <laughs> and you have so many amazing how-to videos on your website Thank and you. DIY stuff. Like, so are you that mom though when like you're in mom mode? Like, do you set up like arts and crafts for your girls? Are you very intentional oh, about that? Daily. Oh, yeah. And then the neighborhood kids, like, know that I do that. So then they come over. And, I mean, every day I see them outside and they're like, what are you doing today? Can we have craft? Can we have craft day? Fun. Yeah. Okay. But so what about for the moms that, like, so that intimidates me. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not. I mean, mm -hmm. I feel like maybe it's because I have a boy that's, like, just getting to the <laughs> age where he's, like, right. kind of into arts and crafts and painting, but truthfully, it scares the crap out of me to like set up arts and crafts in my mm -hmm. house because I feel like it would be all over the wall and everything. Right. Like what would you tell moms would be like a good way to sort of like ease into that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, don't start with paint for sure. Okay, um, don't start with paint. You know, and I always, I have craft paper and I put it like all over the floor. So even if like you have your, your mm. table, like say in your playroom, I just like tape it onto the floor underneath that table, you mm -hmm. know? Um, and then they can get, if you do have paint eventually, you know, or, or Play-Doh, even Play-Doh, like any of that molding clay, I mean, that stuff gets everywhere too. I know. So I, mean, so I, I just kind of put that down and um, I think you just want your kids to be creative. So don't try to like be too planned out about it. Mm -hmm. Don't try to be too in charge. Like I just kind of put the materials there and then let them explore. And yes, there's going to be glue everywhere and there's going to be marker, but it's washable, you know, yeah. and everything can be replaced. Um, but I think like a great gift that we can give our child, our children is to, you know, this gift of creativity and yeah. allowing them to like explore and do things on their own. And then it gives me time to cook dinner. Or yeah. Whatever it so is. So you're very intentional about like setting up a safe space that like has the... We have it. I mean, we, it's a constant, like we okay. have a special table where all the crafts are like okay. all around. And so they know they can only do stuff on that table. I mean, well, yeah. Okay. There's paint on <laughs> Clearly, I have the child that like you, tries to write on the wall yeah, or no, paint on the wall, and I'm that, like, okay. But, I mean, I also have girls. Yeah. That's you true. know, and like they're around this every day. That's true. I mean, sparkles and glitter and fun. Paint That's and, so. So, yeah. like, what are your favorite act like toddler activities? Like, if you were just to name, like, your top Dancing. two. Dancing. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not even, that doesn't require a lot of supplies. <laughs> I'm into that. I like that. Dancing is, I think, just so fun, so easy. Like I use it if I, 
if they're about to like go crazy, right? Like you know, like there's <laughs> like that time. time. It's like five o'clock, and like everybody's about to like lose their mind. <laughs> I just find that like being silly and like or like putting on music and dancing just like takes away all of that. Like they can't deny me a dance, you know. When well, I yeah, put that she's music the mom on, that brings the fun. Yeah. I love it. They just like yeah. go crazy, and then it changes the mood, and then mm -hmm. you know, kind of like stops that craziness from happening yeah that's such that's a good tip so okay another thing that I was reading about on your site and really noticing even on your Instagram mm -hmm. that you mentioned is like you're a big believer in manifestation yes so yes. I think that's such an important like concept for moms because for I sure. think it's so powerful if you really believe yeah. so do you want to talk about why you do that or how sure. you think it's beneficial so I think, so I started, well, I mean, if you, if I look back to like, even like my childhood, childhood, you don't realize that you're manifesting, but you are, you know, just like dreaming, right? It's just yeah. dreaming and totally believing that like, this is going to happen in your life. Um, yes. And then they're like subconscious goals too, you know, because you're, you're thinking of this future. And so as young women, right, like we have these visions and we're like thinking of these things. We want to be this wife and this mother and we're like, you know, again, subconsciously manifesting this. I mean, you can do it in a, a stronger way, which I do. Like I totally, you know, would do like affirmations in the morning, um, you That's know, amazing. act like things have already come to me that, that haven't. And then... I feel like when we have kids and we're in this life that we essentially manifested, then we like stop doing it. Cause you just get Cause busy. Cause then we get busy and then we're like, well now what? Yeah. Like that was like our, fo I mean a lot of, you know, the focus. Um, yeah. It was like building a life up until that yeah. point and then you're like, okay, well what comes next? Right. Yeah. Right. And I think it just, you know, it should continue, I mean, all the time and it just, um, and it helps you to like really hone in on, okay, well, what do I want to manifest? Like, what do I want, you know, this next chapter in my life to be like, or what else do I want to happen? You know, I have this, you know, this great husband and I have this like life I always dreamed of, but that's not the end. Like there's yeah. other things I still want to do. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so it's cool to like really kind of like think like, well, what else do I want to do? And so I write it down mm -hmm. and I say, I want, I want blank, you know, mm -hmm. whether like I want, um, like I had this allergy and so, you know, like just the silly example, but I, I want to be like allergy free, you know, and whatever. Yeah. So every like six months I'll do a list. And then I like just focus on it and I like go through it in my head. And then I obviously you take steps then to, because you have it written down, you're sending that message out or then you're, you're like taking steps to make sure these things, you know, happen. You don't realize it, but mm -hmm. you are. Um, right. And it's just, it's just dreaming and it's believing in the dreams is really, yeah. I mean, it's a simple, simple concept, but I think sometimes you kind of like stop but, dreaming. Right. And I think, but that's like. That is so, so important and such a positive message for moms because I think there's this like major, major, major misconception and like truly the reason why I started the Model Mama is like I was so frustrated with just in like the transition to becoming a mom because I think so many people are still so old school and they're thinking like, okay, well, once you become a mom, you sure. literally like hand in your dream keys sure. and like it's no longer about you. It's about your kids and like mm -hmm. it can still be it can be bold oh yeah you know like you can yeah. still be an amazing mom and like the most hands-on mm -hmm. mom and but you can still have your own goals and aspirations and you don't have to lose that no it makes because, me a better mom for sure yes. to have like other things um you know to focus on and yeah I'm like the best version of myself when I have those little, you know, pieces all, too. all together. Yeah, I agree. Well, speaking of an incredible mom, you also have another component to your company that's so incredible. It's called the Bashery Project, yes. and it's all about giving back. Mm -hmm. And um, do you want to talk about that? Yeah. 
so, you know, I randomly fell into this whole like social media space, you know, and, mm -hmm. um, and now that I'm in it and I have this like platform to, you know, do things, I knew that I wanted to like give back in some way. And I was just trying to figure out like, what that was. And so it's the Bashery Project. And what the Bashery Project is, is it's a charity where we gift a special child a celebration. It could be a birthday party or, or whatever it is. And it's a, a child that maybe is going through a hard time, like their parents are sick or they got a sick sibling or they were sick or they just did something amazing for somebody else. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, you know, I want to do this often. It's like, so we have asked for nominations for different, you know, kids mm -hmm. and we're going to be announcing the first nomination really soon. So yeah, exciting. and we're just going to give them like an amazing party and maybe I can't like take away what their troubles are, but I can give them a day of joy. Mm -hmm. You know, that's all that I can do. And not only just for the kids, but for their family. Yeah, because sure. any like it's birthday party or family celebration is so fun and those, they're going to have those mm -hmm. memories forever. Yeah. That's such a cool gift. That's the thing. It's, it's about, you know, memories. Mm -hmm. And that's what I remember, like, growing up. I mean, we were a party family. Well, na naturally, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Right. right. <laughs> I know. And I know, honestly, like, planning kids' birthday parties is such a huge undertaking, mm -hmm. as you know, more so than probably anybody. But also just so incredibly special. And, like, yeah, I, lo I love that. You're doing amazing things. So they're announcing their first winner soon yes. and then you're going to have this be an ongoing thing yes. so if you know um a child or right. a family that's going through a hard time mm -hmm. that is in need of a big celebration or they have a birthday party coming up you should nominate them yes, you guys for because sure. for sure and on your website so yep. on basheryandco.com and you'll be reviewing applicants or you have a team of people yeah. or okay yeah we have a bunch of people that's so exciting. I, mean, I want to do it. You know, I want to do so many. So, yes. um, and you're also, I love that she's also letting the kids and the family sort of participate in the planning because that's also yeah. such a fun part. That's part of it. I mean, that's what kind of like, um, inspired me, you know, my daughter, Maria, she had her fourth birthday and I mean, I know she's a little extreme because of me, but you know, she, <laughs> no. she, she, she had to have, you know, a Pinterest board and she had to pick out exactly the desserts that she wanted. Mm. And it was like the most exciting thing for her to be a part of this whole, of the whole planning. And I was like, you know, that's a special memory that she's like always going to have. And now she looks forward to it. I mean, we're already talking about her fifth birthday. How fun. And I'm like, you know, there's a lot of kids that don't even get that. Yeah. Experience. Truly. And I know, I know it may sound, you know, silly or whatever, but it's things like that that you remember and and then, totally. Yeah, it's true. I know. What about what are your tips for planning, um, you know, like a birthday party or party for your son and daughter? Because I remember the first birthday was definitely a big thing, yeah. a huge undertaking. Yeah. It was it ended up being kind of stressful yeah. for us. My husband was like, is this a joke? Are we planning a wedding or are we planning a first birthday party? And I'm like, you know what? We survived year one. It's mm -hmm. a big deal. Yeah. Everybody's happy and like healthy. We're gonna yeah. have a posh park party, and everybody's gonna come. And I'm gonna bring in all these things. And we were literally profusely sweating setting this up. It was really stressful. My husband and I, yeah, just yeah, it was crazy. So I was like, I did it the wrong way. So I'm mm -hmm. sure you have tips for keeping it simple. Well, the you either have to hire somebody, which you know that's like. Yeah. not realistic for a lot of people because that's expensive expensive right um and then the other it is it's like you know you pull in your family and like everybody's like working hard to like make this three hours so amazing and like why are we really doing it you know because it's it's so much work but again it's the memories but it's for a one-year-old yeah. so the one-year-old really is never going to remember that but then it's for you so you have to kind of like figure it out like okay Mm -hmm. Why am I doing this? Yeah. You know, yeah. like we skip. So even though like this is what I do, we do the one, we do the big one year. Yeah. And then we don't do anything big two and three. Okay. Because they just, they don't know. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I was banned from planning a second birthday <laughs> party after <laughs> that first one. So we just took Henry to Disneyland, and yeah. it was so magical and yeah. probably We did the same more thing this year for Harlow's second. Yeah. So, and then four comes around, and they know because all their friends, I mean, they know everything. Yes. And so then we, like, you know, we went big for four. But then yeah. I told her, listen, that was, like, major. You know, we're not doing anything that big anymore. Um, yeah. Like, because then you get into, like, kindergarten, first grade, and you're going to have your little crew. And I'd rather do, like, a blowout for, like, eight little girls instead of 80 people. I know, because then it just gets too big. Mm -hmm. and it's better to, it's more intimate mm -hmm. to have it smaller mm -hmm. and more. So, uh, speaking of the stressful mom days, like, mm -hmm. um, like for me, it was planning a first birthday. Um, what, like, how do you re-energize or recenter yourself when you're having a struggle bus day as a mom? Yeah, that's a good question. Sometimes I'll go in a room and scream, you know, just, <laughs> I've done it just too. feels so good to get that out, you know, like go and like just leave them downstairs and just go and like scream real quick mm -hmm. or something. Um, no, but I love to do, I love to work out. So I've been asking all the mamas this. Okay. So what is your funniest or favorite mom moment, like of all time? That happened to me? Yes. Um, well, a crazy one. Yeah, the was, crazy is um, good. I was holding my daughter, and I was like, I could tell she was going to be sick, and I'm like holding her, just like, let me just take you upstairs, and she, she was like, I have to throw up, I have to throw up, and it was too late. She threw up, it hit my face, and then it rico like ricocheted off my face Stop. onto the wall. So it was all over me, all over our wall, and I'm just like, how is this even possible? <laughs> How is this even possible? And you, but I didn't even skip a beat. I'm like, my husband's there, and I'm like, you know. Yeah. And then just like move on because we got a sick kid. We got to get upstairs. Isn't it funny how your tolerance level just totally changes? Yeah. yeah. Like it's like, oh, I have barf all over all me, over but me. I'm, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Whereas like before becoming a mom, if that happened, it would be mm -hmm. like, okay, my day is officially ruined and game over. But now I'm like, what do you mean? Brush it off. It's we're good. No big deal. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. She's yeah. She just powers through. What a super mom. <laughs> well, thank you so much thank for all of your you incredible for tips. Me. I it loved so it. Fun. So where can everybody find you and all of your fun party planning and DIY stuff? So my Instagram is Bashery and Co. Okay. And my website's bashryandco.com. Perfect. Simple and easy. Well, thanks you guys so much for tuning in. Pamela and your dream. And so mm. much fun. She's so fun, you guys. You gotta watch all of her fun tips and tutorials, especially for summer and holidays and everything. It's all good. So you guys have to come back next time, but we're going to sign off for today. This is Tara and Pamela signing off from the Model Mama Show. See you next time. <laughs>